So friends, take it from this old prosecutor. Donald Trump just committed a new crime in violation of New York state law. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Donald Trump just can't help himself. He continues to commit crimes. In recent days, he has committed new crimes in violation of the laws of New York State. Specifically, he threatened New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg, the very person who is investigating Donald Trump's earlier New York State crimes, and he did so with the intent to intimidate Alvin Bragg in the performance of his official duties, and that violates New York State law. Specifically, Section 195.05, Obstructing Governmental Administration in the Second Degree. Let's read that statute together, shall we? Obstructing Governmental Administration in the Second Degree. Under our law, that is the New York state law, a person is guilty of obstructing governmental administration in the second degree when that person intentionally prevents or attempts to prevent a public servant from performing an official function by means of intimidation, physical force, or interference, or by means of any independently unlawful act. And that is precisely what Donald Trump has just done. Let's unpack it. Let's start with the new reporting, this by Vanity Fair. Headline, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg gets death threat shortly after Trump's warning of death and destruction. And that article reads, in the wake of former President Donald Trump warning that there would be death and destruction if he is indicted, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg received a death threat letter with suspicious powder, which was later determined to be non-hazardous. The powder, that is, not the threat. The letter to Bragg, who's investigating Trump for his hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels during his 2016 presidential campaign, reportedly read, Alvin, I am going to kill you. The note had an Orlando, Florida postmark from Tuesday, yet arrived at the DA's mailroom in Manhattan on Friday. The USPS envelope contained not only the letter, but also a small amount of white powder. The death threat to the DA arrived shortly after Trump warned of what could happen as a result of his potential indictment in signature exclamation points and emphatic capital letters on Truth Social on Friday Quote, what kind of person can charge another person, in this case a former president of the United States, who got more votes than any sitting president in history and leading candidate by far for the Republican Party nomination with a crime, when it is known by all that no crime has been committed and also known that potential death and destruction in such a false charge could be catastrophic for our country. Why and who would do such a thing? Only a degenerate psychopath that truly hates the USA. While the letter was sent before this particular Truth Social post was published last Saturday, Trump took to Truth Social to encourage supporters to protest, take our nation back, in the case that the hush money probe results in his arrest. In response to Trump's incendiary instructions, Bragg sent out an email to him. <clears throat> in response to Trump's incendiary instructions, Bragg sent out an email to employees last week saying, we do not tolerate attempts to intimidate our office or threaten the rule of law in New York. The grand jury is expected to reconvene on Monday and the New York City Courthouse will increase security according to the Office of Court Administration. So friends, when the grand jurors reconvene on Monday, they should receive additional evidence from prosecutors 
of Donald Trump's death and destruction threats in violation of Section 195.05. And the grand jury absolutely should also receive additional evidence. This picture, this post by Donald Trump wielding a baseball bat mid-swing, standing next to a picture of Alvin Bragg with his hands up as if Donald Trump is about to strike the district attorney with the baseball bat. You know, friends, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, this picture is worth a 195.05 criminal charge in violation of the laws of New York because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.